the forest. Hi right there. I'm not really sure. There's an inner voice calling me. I think I'll fly now. It's easier than balancing on your back. Careful with your ball. Sorry. That's okay. This is no way for us to find a treasure. Just try and be patient. We might get lucky. Sure. Don't forget your ball. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if he's hiding to play a little joke on us. That's not funny. We don't know where Buckshot went. Do you, you know, know where he is? is? Sure, he's right over there. Where? There, beyond those big trees. Come on, let's hurry and catch up to him. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Yeah, we don't want to miss this. I'm with you. <laughs> It's magical. I'm glad you've heeded my magic call. What? I am the king of the trees, and I can transmit my wishes with my mind. Whoa! But Shut, Ivor is a very wise king. You know him? Come closer, little one. Do not be afraid. Your parents visited me in the olden days every time that they descended the great mountain. Did you really know my parents? Yes, very well. I am the king of the trees, and I know all the little animals who live here and in the jungle. I know your friend Simba and your wolf mother. I know it was she who so generously took the place of your parents. Oh, you know everyone. Huh? Oh. Looks like Buckshot has lost his marbles. It's strange. He's talking to a tree. Hold on! Don't disturb him! Buckshot's in a conference with the King of the Trees! The King of the Trees? Huh? Oh. Do you mean that big tree over there? Yes, he was a friend of Buckshot's parents. I find this a little hard to believe. Yeah, me too. Nothing in this forest surprises me anymore. And you say you know my best friend Simba? Yes, I'm the one who marked him with the stars of the Great Bear. Do you wish it also? Oh, yes, I do. And what would you do with these gifts if you received them? I'd make my parents proud. Buckshot, do you know the story about what happened to your parents? No. Come, let me tell you. Your parents gave their lives to save their three young ones. Let me show you how brave they were.
Passed away right where you are now. <gasps> Buckshot, you're all grown up now. I'm happy you have such good friends. Don't cry. You'll only make her sad. You can't see her now, but she continues to watch you. Yes. Yes, she watches you always. Oh, these birds are too much. They keep tickling me. Oh, that's enough, little birds. I could chase them. Oh no, leave them. The birds have need of me, for my branches give them shelter. <laughs> They're really cute. <laughs> Why do you tickle this nice old soul? Old? The king of the trees is an old. He's ancient. We couldn't survive without him. He loves us. And helps us. <laughs> Buckshot, let the birds drink their water. You mean birds drink water too? Flowers are beautiful. <sighs> you see, Buckshot, water is the source of all life. It is the same for plants and for animals. All of these trees you see have grown thanks to water. And now they provide shelter for many animals here. We, the trees, are the true guardians of nature. But I've seen the humans cutting down the trees. What do they do at Arbor? Because they are short-sighted. When there are no more trees, there'll be no more life on Earth. Then everything will be lost. So we must protect water and trees to keep Earth alive. You understand well, Buckshot. You're very smart. <laughs> <laughs> Where are Simba and Buckshot? Simba's taken his brother to show him how to hunt. Did Buckshot go too? No, he went with Toy to see the mice. Could you go and find them and bring them home? Okay. <laughs> Buckshot! Yoo-hoo! Alec, Alec, are you up there? Oh. He isn't oh. home. Let's go see the mice. Okay. <laughs> hey, Excel! Excel! Finn, you Is there? there? Hey, you too? Hi, Alex. Have you seen Buckshot? Yes, he and Toy and the mice all left together. Which way? We went to the forest by the lake. Uh -huh. Come on, let's go! Mm -hmm. I don't know 
which way to go. I don't either. We could get lost. Mm. Let's try and call them. Buckshot! Buckshot! Buckshot, where are you? Huh? The wolf twins! <laughs> Who's that? Sounds like toy. Let's go. <laughs> toy! <laughs> Where's Buckshot? He's gone a little nuts. What do you mean, gone nuts? Well, he's dancing all along, spinning. He laughs, then he cries. He's very strange. It's true, he's not acting like himself. We're on our way to find a cure. He must have eaten some poison mushrooms. And they've made him strange. Can we go get him? It's far. We have to save oh, him. I'm pooped. We have no other choice. Come on. Okay. Up and at him, XL. Oh. <laughs> hey, XL, let's try our trick. It's the Great Ravine. What do we do now? We'll have to make a detour, because there's no way across. Sure there is. I'll jump it. What? Jump? Uh, Don't do it! It's too uh, dangerous! Stop! We'll never make it, Toy! Move your hands, then I can't see! Whoa! I had the strangest dream. <laughs> Seems you're rushed. Yes, we're on our way to the forest. Buckshot's in big trouble and we have to save him. But you mustn't pass this way. We made a mistake, but the canary didn't warn us. They were all talking at once and they wouldn't listen. You must listen. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Snake, Snake for saving our lives. lives. <laughs> You're a couple of daredevils. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you noticed. <laughs> in this direction, in the center of the forest, lives Arbor, king of the trees. He is an ancient wise soul. If you want to go on, you have to go around the ravine. <gasps> Let's go. Wait, I'll help you across. Oh. An instant snake bridge. Cross. That's like sailing on the sea. <laughs> hmm. You'll find Arbor's Lake just down there. Splendid. Now you can go and get Buckshot. But what if he won't come with us? Hmm. Don't be so negative, XL. We have to try our best. Well, there he is. Tell me, Buckshot, do you like it here in my forest? Yes, I am so happy here. You can stay here for as long as you wish, and from time to time look at your mother's reflection. My little one, don't stay here. You must go back to your friends. I understand, Mother. I promise I'll return to my friends soon. You want to go back? Yes, I want to become just as courageous as Simba and follow the guidance of the Great Bear. If you stay, you'll learn a great deal. But there is so much I can learn from all of my friends. Ah. We work and play together and our adventures help us grow up. So you are certain? 
Yes, I'm very certain. One moment, little one. I would like to help you. Before you return to your friends, what gift would make you happiest? Would you like to possess the same powers as Simba? I am king of the trees. Today I grant you the power of the forest and give you all of our ancient wisdom. By the magic in my leaves, the great bear will mark your chest, signifying your newfound strength. My dear Buckshot, behold, it is done. These seven marks on your chest will stay with you forever. Now, go look at yourself in the water. Found power will help you overcome the difficult days ahead. Use your power wisely. Oh, yes. Come out, my little friends. Oh. <laughs> Buckshot. And with our tattoos, we're kind of super mice. <laughs> Buckshot, you have the marks. Just like Simba. Hmm, yes. Don't you think I look very brave with these on? Yeah, and much more intelligent, too. Maybe you could become king of the forest one day. <laughs> well, Buckshot certainly has all the qualities of a king. Oh. <laughs> oh, stop that tickling. Now go back home, my friends. It's getting late, and the forest can be dangerous at night. Okay, Arbor. And thank you for this wonderful gift you've given me. I promise I will use it wisely. So are you ready to get started back home now? Wait, here's a chance to test your newfound strength. You can carry us on your back. <laughs> <laughs> Give them a ride, Buckshot. They're not as strong as you. All right, but you two know you need the exercise. <laughs> Riding is easier than exercising. <laughs> Goodbye, and thank you for everything. For you. Good boy. Is that Buckshot or a great bear? <laughs> These marks will give me the strength to work hard for the good of our whole community. I'm very proud of you. But you have a lot of growing up to do to prepare for your future. That's what I'll do. Buckshot, you've been marked by the magic heavens. Yes, Augustine, you're right. You recognize the design? Oh. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Arbor's chosen you as king of the forest. Oh, so you know Arbor? Oh, yes. He's the great teacher of the forest. He's the force that binds us all in nature. He knows more than I will ever know. Children, come along. Your supper's ready. Oh, oh good luck. <laughs> hey, Buckshot! Simba! <laughs> <laughs> Look, Arbor has given me the marks of the great bear. Yeah, one day you and I will be kings. You will be king of the jungle and I'll be king of the forest. 
Do you think I'll ever be as smart and strong as my dad? Sure you will, because you're protected by the great bear. Come on, it's supper time. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, our two heroes will walk a little more proudly under the guidance of the great bear. There are many adventures ahead of them, but for now, they can rest peacefully under the stars, guarded by their new powers and their old friends. <laughs>